uh, this video shows a scene uh, of uh, Nazarbayev's statue in Tadgurgan city being dismantled during the protests in January. And um, uh, this person, uh, Azamat Batalbaev, is being accused of driving the truck which helped to dismantle the statue. Um, as we see here, uh, he, they, they pressed hot iron on his back and he was beaten with uh, different tools. Um, and on this uh, on right side of his uh, on his right side uh, we can see the big bruise which is very dark deep bruise and it is reported that uh, his uh, one of his kidneys is severely damaged in general most of the detained protests are um, reporting that their kidneys and liver are uh, specially targeted and they are even told that if you do not admit what you are being told to admit will uh, you will lose your kidney kidneys or uh, liver that's what uh, are being reported from the people in the detention centers. As we can see, uh, he, he received um, damages on different parts of his body. And he's not uh, currently in hospital, he's still in the detention center. This is the metal junk statue which was dismantled. Uh, Nazarbayev, we know he is still alive, but um, there are so many statues in Kazakhstan. They, um, they are saying that uh, the junk statue can be installed again if people need it, if there is a, a real need for more statues, uh, such statues can be built again, but uh, uh, depriving the health of a young person for it, uh, which is not even sufficiently proved that it was him who was driving that truck, uh, is not worth it's not worth for uh, some junk metal uh, to uh, turn uh, the young person into a disabled person. These are the village mates, uh, uh, the people from the same village where Azamat is from. Uh, he is from Kapal village, uh, Aksu district of Almaty region. These uh, guys are saying that they can prove that Azamat is a person of good character, he's a good citizen, and that he is looking after a big family. He's the only breadwinner of the family. He's got five young children and older parents, one of whom is a disabled old person. And they are also pointing at the fact that President Tokayev have repeatedly been saying that he uh, he 
ensures that the hu human rights of the citizens are utmost priority and uh, he makes sure that uh, human rights are protected. But despite uh, those um, statements, the atrocities uh, are uh, such as this are still taking place in the country and uh, these guys are also paying condolences to the families who lost their loved ones during the protests. Uh, we know that um, hundreds of protests were shot dead and many, uh, about 10,000, were arrested and many of them are undergoing severe tortures. And the family is uh, asking to release uh, all these uh, detained people who are detained uh, unfairly. including Azamat Butterbaith.